Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victoria Newman maintains that it isn't possible. Tuesday, November 28, 2023's Young and the Restless recap features an amazing tale of how Jordan took baby E from the hospital. Highlights of the Young and the Restless recap. This episode also saw Victor eventually locate Nikki upstairs. Nick attempted to intervene, but Jordan attacked him with a knife instead. At last, Claire found it difficult to accept that her aunt had been lying to her for all these years. Let us now examine what transpired in more detail. Nikki imagined Victor emerged from the restroom. She asked him to come over. But he told her she had to stand up for herself. When he asked Nikki when she had resumed drinking, she replied that she hadn't. Rather, her kidnappers made her do so. She begged him to assist her in removing the IV filled with alcohol from her hand. But Fantasy Victor explained that since she needed to help herself, he was unable to assist her. He gave Nikki the motivation to keep fighting. After walking till she reached the IV stand, Nikki removed the IV from her hand. Nikki then had a clear hallucination. She said that Nikki enjoyed the sense of floating that alcohol gave her. Nikki pleaded with Claire to explain her deception, but fantasy Claire did not seem to be affected. She called Nikki a whiny, inebriated person. Victor threatened Jordan downstairs, but she told him that her only want was for him to perish along with his family. Nick attempted to open the windows, but all of them had triple locks on the exterior. Claire adamantly claimed to be Victoria and Cole's daughter. Cole and Victoria refuted that, and Victoria informed Claire that Eve had passed away. Claire argued, nevertheless, that it was a cover tale. Once more, Cole and Victoria stated that Eve was born prematurely and passed away, while Claire discussed growing up without parents. Jordan was accused of not being Eve's sister by Victor, who also asked to know what she wanted. Jordan was aware of Victor's extramarital romance with Eve. Cole's mind has been poisoned against his mother, she added. They then cut to a quarrel between Eve and Victor. Jordan refused to let Victor stay and let the others go, despite Victor's best efforts to convince her. Claire continued, saying that all she had ever wanted as a child was for her parents to be held accountable for their abandonment. But Victoria wasn't going to accept that this was anything but a scam. Cole and Nick attempted to unlock the door. As the poison started to work, Victoria instructed Jordan to give them the remedy. Jordan, though, asserted that they had not accepted accountability. Jordan stated during their conversation that she had taken baby E from Victoria and Cole since her sister had been murdered by the Newmans. Claire was horrified when her aunt informed her that they didn't want her and had given her away. Claire insisted that it altered everything, even though Jordan claimed it made no difference. Nick assaulted Jordan and demanded the antidote as Victor went upstairs. Nikki started pounding on the door and yelling for her husband when she heard Victor calling her name. Victoria pleaded with Claire downstairs to assist them, but Claire insisted that Victoria identify herself as their daughter. But Victoria and Cole claimed that since Eve was dead, the entire story could not be true. Nikki was overjoyed to see Victor upstairs and wondered if he was actually him. Jordan turned around and stabbed Nick as she rushed upstairs. Nick followed her. Jordan interrupted Victor and Nikki as they were hugging, saying, Just where the hell do you think you're going? Jordan makes it out alive and heads off to torment the Newmans on another Y and R day. In the Young and the Restless recap for Wednesday, November 29, 2023, Jordan makes a cunning maneuver and manages to get away while the authorities assist the Newman family in leaving the lake house. Highlights of the Young and the Restless recap Claire also provided the antidote to the Newmans in this episode, and Cole wanted Victoria to confirm that their baby had passed away. Nick was able to make a 911 call. Billy knew something wasn't right, but he didn't want to call the police because of Nate and Audra. At last, Audra convinced Nate to go on a date. Let us now examine what transpired in more detail. Victor made an effort to assist Nikki at the lake house. 
Victor was told he was going to die by Jordan, who had entered the room holding a knife. Victor knocked Jordan's knife out of his hand as he declared he would take her down with him. Jordan was left in the upstairs room as he and Nikki hastily exited the room and locked the door. The two of them headed downstairs. Cole applied pressure to Nick's wound while Victoria pleaded with Claire to get aid and give them the antidote. Claire, on the other hand, urged Victoria make amends for leaving her when she was a youngster. Victoria eventually expressed her regret. After pulling out the drawer, Claire handed them two of her antidote bottles. Victor and Cole had to take them, Victoria insisted. Nick made it across the living room to the drawer and retrieved his phone while Claire searched for the remaining bottles that Jordan had concealed. He made a 911 call. Nikki received a message from a frustrated Audra at Newman Media. She had to talk to her supervisor. Billy ran into Nate at Crimson Lights. He questioned Nate's knowledge of Victoria's location. Billy was taken aback when Nate failed to do so, considering Victoria had informed him via message of Nikki's seizure and her flight to be with her mother. Billy sensed a disagreement between Nate and Victoria, and the exposition acknowledged their breakup. Billy asked a lot of questions, but Nate was unwilling to respond. He mentioned that he had become a victim of the Newmans, which Billy was well aware of. Nate kept asking inquiries, but he didn't divulge too much about his relationship with Victoria. When Audra entered, they inquired as to whether she had heard anything regarding Nikki's seizure. She was taken aback. After comparing notes, Billy felt certain that there was a deeper issue. But neither Audra nor Nate felt they should report anything to the authorities. Billy headed to Newman Enterprises after leaving. He took a look around and made contact with Nick at last when he was there. Naturally, Nick told Billy that they were all secure and that he wouldn't provide Billy with any further information. Audra attempted to persuade Nate to accept the enigmatic job she had given him back at the coffee shop. He wasn't too keen to take a job for which he had no prior experience. Audra didn't respond when Nate asked her what had made her who she was throughout their brief flirtation. In the end, she proposed that he buy her supper in exchange for further information about the job. Accepting the date, Nate authorities showed up at the lake house later. While the police searched the home for Jordan, the EMTs took care of Nick. The window was open, the upstairs door remained locked, and Jordan was nowhere to be seen. Before being carried away by the cops, Claire apologized to Victoria and the Newmans. She said that she had lost all identity. The Newmans slowly made their way to the hospital to be checked out. After closing the door, Jordan materialized behind the grill in front of the vent that was close to the ceiling. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.